In this video, I will explain how to use the Chromebook Collection Checklist for the end of year Chromebook collection. First, go to www.vbsd.org slash CB Collection. Next, you will need to sign in. When live data is populated in this page, we plan to password protect it. In order to sign into any SchoolWires page, you click on the lock in the top right corner. Then you click sign in. You'll enter your VBSD username and password, noting that you do not need to use the at VBSD at the end of your username. Once signed in, you'll scroll down to where you see educator information. Currently, we only have sample data populated, but when you come back to this and it's live, you'll find a list of buildings. Go ahead and click on your buildings checklist. And do note, if you are not signed into Google, you will need to do so. Make sure you sign in with your Valley View account. Once you're signed in, it should open this spreadsheet. At the bottom, you'll see many tabs. These are set up by teacher or possibly grade level or possibly in another way that your building determined. On the left-hand side, you'll see the All Sheets button. If you click that, you'll be able to quickly find the sheet that you need to enter your data. I'm gonna to pretend to be Melba today. Opening up my sheet, I see my students already populated and I see asset tags for their Chromebooks. If I scroll down, there's an area of additional space where I can manually type in students in case somebody's missing from the roster. To check in a student's Chromebook, you would view the asset tag column and look at the asset tag of the student's Chromebook and make sure those values match. As long as they match, then you could come over to the Chromebook check, click on the drop down, and click the checkbox. Then you would go to the next student and do the same thing. Check the asset tag, click on the drop down, click the checkbox. If a student's Chromebook, bag, or charger is either missing or damaged, then you need to indicate that in the last three columns. Both the options for missing and damaged appear. If everything is in good order, then you just skip those columns and move on to the next student. Let's say for instance, Jade, turned in her Chromebook, however, the bag was damaged. I would click on damaged bag, and let's say the charger was not there, missing charger, and that's it. So the only time we'll click in these three columns are for damaged or missing items, and again, the damage must be blatant and obvious. Now suppose a student's asset tag is different from what shows up on the spreadsheet. In this instance, go ahead and type the asset tag value into the spreadsheet. Once you've typed it in, you're still going to check it off as being turned in. So click on the drop down arrow and then click the checkbox. If at any time you make a mistake, simply click on the cell and press the delete button and that'll remove the information in that cell. Also note that when you're using a, a trackpad, it's kind of hard sometimes to click on the drop down. Sometimes you miss. So if in the event you find your cursor being in the cell and you can't get to that check uh, drop down menu, just simply try again and be patient. Um, from time to time, like I just did there, I'll make that drop down menu disappear if I misclick. So if that happens to you, just click out of that cell and then you should be able to go back to the back to the drop down menu and get it to pop up. Last but not least, if a student does not turn in a Chromebook, it is very important that you do not check the Chromebook check column. Simply leave it blank and move on to the next student. And that's it. On behalf of the technology department, I thank you for your assistance with collecting Chromebooks and I hope you have a wonderful summer break.